I like to say we've always been kindred spirits. We really, you know, just kind of kicked it off and our, um, you know, sense of humor was you know, very similar. It took Deb Newman and Allison Hinckley, both main teachers, traveling halfway around the world to meet. They wanted an adventure and to, to experience a different culture. Ten years ago, they went to Abu Dhabi to teach English for a year. We both have a passion for education and children and making ed education better for everybody. Yeah, I could fide in her and, you know, say anything and, and get good advice from her. Little did they know that their trip abroad would stitch their families together forever. When we returned, our friendship just kept growing. It's like we're so quirky together and, you know, funny. And we're probably, you know, like the annoying friends that like have, you know, those inside jokes. And you're like, yeah, yeah, guys, OK, we get it. When Allison started dating her now husband, Gary, also a teacher, we actually met at a Christmas holiday party, and then we kind of hit it off. Deb was thrilled. He was just such a good guy, and I could tell he was just smitten with Allison, and he was the right the right guy for her. Since Allison and I have been together, we've done like dinners and card nights, and been close like friends. Deb even married the young couple, but shortly after their wedding, the newlyweds began an uphill battle. Gary had been diagnosed with lupus when he was a teenager. As a 15 year old who was used to being very active, playing sports, just out of nowhere, I started to like balloon. Not only did he gain weight, but his energy was depleted. He tried chemotherapy and several other treatments over the years to try and mitigate his lupus. Nothing really worked. In 2016, doctors discovered he had a leaky heart valve. I had open heart surgery and they replaced my valve. So I have a titanium heart valve. A few days after I got out of the hospital, my dad passed away. He had a heart attack. And um, so that was a really tough time. Two years later, as the couple was trying to start their own family, more bad news. I found out that I needed to transplant because my kidneys continued to get worse. His sister was a perfect match. Like everybody asks me all the time, are you nervous before going to surgery? And I never am because I just am like, nope, they're gonna, the doctors know what they're doing. They're gonna do it. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna come out and be fine. But it wasn't fine. His body rejected his sister's kidney. I think I was in shock more than anything. Like you just don't really kind of why, like what happened. While in the hospital, he learned his wife was pregnant. It was hard because we were so excited to have a family, but also I was so nervous as to, you know, what is this really going to look like? Um, because when we started our family, um, you know, he was very sick. The search for another donor continued. After a few months when there didn't seem to be a lot of other prospects, I said, you know what, I'm just gonna, gonna see what happens. Deb's friendship has meant the world to the Hinckleys, but more recently, it's been a literal lifeline. I just had this intuitive sense that it was meant to be and that it would it would work. Deb, too, was a perfect match. When Allison told me, I was surprised, I guess you could say, but grateful at the same time. In some ways, I didn't want to get too excited, um, you know, to be potentially let down again. Last November, at 62 years old, Deb Newman went into Maine Medical Center in Portland and gave to her dear friend's husband her kidney. She is absolutely um, an you know, invaluable friend. I mean, to be willing to go in the hospital, have a surgery during a global pandemic, you know, for me just, you know, completely blew my mind that she was even willing to do that. And, you know, to kind of put your body through stress. Gary's an incredible incredibly strong person to overcome all of the obstacles life has thrown him. And Allison too, um, they, they're just a very strong, resilient, wonderful family. You meet someone and one day and you never think like, oh, you know, I'm gonna marry this guy or, oh, like this is an amazing friend who someday is gonna save my husband's life. What has it meant to you to be able to give a gift like this to the Hinckley family? Oh, that's a tough one. Um, it just brings me so much joy every time I see them.
didn't realize I get this emotional. Um, every time I see them do normal family things, it just brings me such joy. And to know that I was able to give them this gift that really I didn't need and I'm and that they did. She's been so helpful and just generous. Yeah, she's an amazing lady. Deb's gift has given Gary a new lease on life and a chance to be an active father to his twins. It's just really exciting to feel like, you know, the world is our oyster and we can now explore and do all the things that we want to do. And we have this family that, you know, we wanted to have. Um, and it just feels so amazing to be in a place where that is possible. seconds. 